In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at taking this drawing from AutoCAD, just simply by copying and pasting the elements we're looking for straight into a Inventor sketch. Okay, so back into Inventor, paste this straight into a sketch. Data takes a few seconds to come across. And there it is. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I can finish up my sketch, and um, you'll now see that obviously the sketch data is pasted in there. I can save this component as a part and I can shoot into an assembly and I can actually then place this sketched item as a part inside of an assembly and I can now use this data to place frame generator components. So I sort of wobble it around to more or less where I want it and click on insert frame. Choose a frame size that you want. In this instance I'm going to go for um, square hollow section and we're going to place a 50 by 50 by 2.5 on the side edge over there change the orientation as needed and apply that and the same on the other side apply that um, we can then go in and grab the circular hollow section we're going to get the 48.3 by 3 find it in the list there we go, and just set the orientation correctly, same one down the bottom, apply that. You see our frame starting to come together quite nicely. I can then go and grab the um, square section again, and we can place um, the 30 by 30 by 2.5, and I'll stick that in the middle there, get the orientation correct, apply that. And then we need to go back, get the circular hollow section, and we're going to go and place these 33.7 by 2.5s. Just going to grab that from the list. There we go. Get the orientation correct, and we'll just go and select the elements that we're looking for. And there we go. Apply that. Let it generate our files for, them, for me. And um, just hit save. But it takes a few seconds to save, obviously, because we've got to generate all of these components. Um, each frame member, and each frame member, then gets saved as a part file, um, which you could then edit. So, if you wanted to add in, say, holes for galvanizing or something like that, you could open each frame member individually and edit it. But you'll now see that we've got a 3D model. We can hide the initial sketch if we wanted to, and we now have our AutoCAD in 3D as a working assembly model, um, which we can use in any assembly now. If we create a new drawing of this component, um, we can place a base view. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to cheat. We can actually go and grab that sketch and bring it back through. If you expand your view and turn on the visibility of the initial frame member, and then go and tell it that you want to include or get model sketches, it'll bring back all of that information. So you could detail the drawing using the information that you already had from AutoCAD. 